this year also we are organizing the student management days. I, I heard that more than 180 students from 15 business schools have registered to participate in this program. I am very happy to welcome Mr. Anwar Vandaraj, the young and dynamic marketing executive of the LG Group. I am Anwar and I help manage marketing and brand at LG. I am really excited for you today. Uh, one of the things that I enjoyed the most uh, during my own business school was the opportunity to showcase business skills. You know, uh, because it really challenges you to not only test your understanding, but also to see how much of theory actually works in practice. So I wish you all the best of luck in your competitions today, and I think that um, the CMA has done a fantastic job over uh, many number of years to set this competition up to accommodate so many schools and uh, colleges. So. Um, given that I'm a marketing guy and that's what I know most, I thought that I would share a few thoughts with you from a marketing perspective on uh, professional leadership. And many of you as I hear are second year students and you're finishing your degrees and the, the important thing of any program is that any program will make you technically very strong. right? If you're in finance, you learn about the financial statements, you learn about the different accounting methodology. In strategy, you learn about Porter's five forces, the different frameworks. In my own marketing degree, I learned about three C's of marketing, the four P's. The point is, all schools of study today will make you technically very strong, which is good. But the sobering thought here is that Technical strength is not sufficient for success. Let's look at this. Let's look at the Indian IT industry, built on technical strength, right? On the sole provision of technical strength, and today you are seeing the mass exit of employees because the customer, mainly a lot of U.S.-based companies, no can actually manage a lot of their work with automation. You have a lot of very technically qualified people whose future is now uncertain. So technical strength is similar to getting a visa to travel somewhere. It's the right to enter a country. It's the right to a job. It's by no means a guarantee of your success. Right? And especially in this competitive environment where there's so many business schools offering fantastic degrees, your technical skills are even less relevant. So that's your past, that's your right to participate. So how about your right to success? How do you thrive? Right? I believe your personal brand is your right to thrive. They say in any organization, whether it's professional, NGO, a sports team, 80% of the work is done by 20% of the people. The strength of your professional brand determines your place in that 20%. So, let's talk a little bit about what personal brand. Your personal brand is your ability to use your experience and skills to influence people and change. What's the difference between personal brand and technical skill. Anwar's technical capability or expertise is in marketing, advertising, promotions and communication. But my personal brand is problem solving and inspiring people to change. If you notice, it's highly independent of what I've studied. What I've studied is merely a tool to, for my personal brand that you start this reflection early because as you get into the workspace you will be reporting to people that you have no influence over you will be reporting to people who are not as ambitious as you are so you will face the challenges of using your insight and your knowledge to influence change so with that 
I will close to say, as you spend your last few months coming out of business school, as you face your different challenges, start by identifying people that can be role models for your personal brand and start to think about answering the question of, if I had to go into a job without a resume, how would I communicate that? Thank you. Hearty thanks to the next gen marketing person of LG, Mr. Anwar, for your inspiring and highly interactive session. Thank you for sparing your time. Let us all give him a standing ovation for his interaction and for his sharing of knowledge.